My friends, according to our sages, the era of Jewish prophecy ended over 2,000 years ago after the return of the exiles from Babylonia. According to the peerless biblical commentator Rashi, there were 48 prophets and seven prophetesses in Jewish history. The last Jewish prophet is believed to have been Malachi. The authority of the tradition of the Bible in Judaism is founded upon the concept of prophecy. It is only with Moses that we first encounter a prophet who is sent to the people to deliver the word of God. Furthermore, Judaism recognizes prophets and prophecy in other faiths. The Talmud, Tractate Baba Batra, names seven non-Jewish prophets, including Bilam, the protagonist of this week's Torah portion, Bilam's father Baor, and Job. In this Shabbat's Torah reading, Balak, the king of Moab, asks Bilam, a non-Jewish sorcerer, to put a curse on the Israelites. Balak, aware that the children of Israel have been blessed by God, hopes that this curse will allow the Moabites to be victorious in their battle against the Israelites. After several entreaties from the Moabite king, along with permission from God, Bilam ends his journey on a mountaintop where he sees from a distance the Israelites encamped. As the Spirit of God comes upon him, Bilam proceeds to bless the Israelites four times. Matovu Ohalecha Yaakov, Mishkinotecha Yisrael. How good are your tents, O Jacob, your dwelling places, O Israel. Some of the most beautiful poetry in all of biblical literature. The words we recite each day as we begin our morning prayers. Remarkably, Bilam blessed the Jewish people even when those around him were prompting him to respond with unkindness and vitriol. Speaking of prophets, at the end of the life of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., anti-Semitism raised its ugly head within the black civil rights community. Dr. King demonstrated a total disdain and a zero tolerance policy for anti-Jewish rhetoric and diatribe, risking opprobrium from fellow blacks in the movement when he repeatedly cited Jewish models to African Americans who tried to make excuses for black failures. As I reference in my book, Share Dreams, Martin Luther King Jr. and the Jewish Community, Dr. King would exhort, and I quote, we must not use our oppression as an excuse for mediocrity and laziness, for history has proven that inner determination can often break through the outer shackles of circumstance. Take the Jews, for example, and the years they have been forced to walk through the long and desolate nights of oppression. This did not keep the Jewish people from rising up to plunge against cloud-filled nights of oppression, new and blazing stars of inspiration. Being a Jew did not keep Einstein from using his genius-packed mind to prove his theory of relativity, end of quote. My friends, Bilam and Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. both encountered Balaks who tried to twist their prophetic messages into curses and vilifications. Fortunately, these visionary leaders had the integrity to insist on continuing to offer blessings of praise and adulation. Shabbat Shalom.